going on everybody Pete Simonetti here for the one the only NYY News TV guys we all know on October 11th the New York Yankees will be playing in the American League Division Series we know the AL East is locked up but I tell you guys what that is not the do all end all we know for a fact there are still questions even with four games remaining that still need to be answered by the New York Yankees. And I got one that really isn't being discussed, and to be fair with you guys, probably isn't going to be discussed, but it's shocking to me because you would think any team would want their best team on the field when playoff time starts because we know it. No matter how we feel, anything can happen once you are in And the New York Yankees are in. I am a big believer in comfort. You want to be as comfortable as possible knowing what you got going into the postseason. And when I call games, folks, I want to be as comfortable as humanly possible too. So I need to tell you about our new sponsor. Into the AM is a team of artists and creators who share a common vision. They see clothing as a canvas to express what drives you. Since 2012, Into the AM has developed premium apparel that elevates self-expression and provides unparalleled comfort for wherever your passions take you. And I tell you guys what, this is handcrafted with care. This is legitimate stuff, so make sure. Go to IntoTheAM.com, use discount coupon NYYNewsTV. The feel on these shirts are absolutely fantastic. I'm wearing one right now. I'm going to show you that. But you guys know I'm crazy, right? Look at the stuff I do during games. He struck him out. Hit him in the You, I, I got to have comfort. I got to have a shirt that breathes on me. I don't get too hot. I don't start flipping out and bugging out because I'm overheating. I need something great on my body when I am discussing the New York Yankees and calling games. I'm here sometimes four or five hours, so I got to have a good quality shirt. And guys, look how it just fits the arms. Look at that. I mean, it fits beautiful. Who doesn't want a shirt that breathes? Who doesn't want a shirt that is comfortable? So guys, do me a favor today. I'm not even, you know, you know me. You guys are, you guys know me. Pete tells you the truth all the time. Real talk for the real fan is what we do. This stuff is, is, is premium. This stuff is quality. And I tell you what, when I first put it on, I said, oh, good a shirt that I could breathe in it breathes it it doesn't feel hot ever and when I call games I go wild look at my strikeouts he struck him out hit in the end of the whatever it is I'm doing I am bugging out and I need to have a little (sighs) breathe Pete breathe Pete get graphic tees three for sixty dollars basic tees three for 49.95 but also remember get 10 percent off today Using discount code NYY News TV, your favorite in New York Yankees news and entertainment. So make sure you guys get hooked up with Into the AM today. I'm telling you, you will not be sorry. But getting back to our video here, Oswald Peraza to me is no doubt about it, the guy that should be the shortstop for the Yankees. And look, I could sit here all day and go, okay, hey, let's talk about Peraza's numbers in. 36 at-bats, he got 11 hits, he's hitting 306, uh, five runs scored, you know, one stolen bag, one RBI, ooh, wow, whoop de doo and he does this and he does that, we've seen him field, he looks fantastic, we understand all that, but here's the thing, it is the words of the Yankees and the potential of the player that we are looking at, to me, that truly makes the biggest difference of why, why, The New York Yankees should make the decision already and put Oswald Peraza at shortstop. What do we know about Peraza? What have we seen about Peraza compared to what we know about IKF? Now, the reason this will never change, Aaron Boone already told you. He already told you. Forget what your eyes see. Don't even worry about what your eyes see. Worry about the fact that I'm telling you 
based on the internal numbers that we have, the nerd room tells us a different story than what your eyes tell you. Your eyes deceive you. You are not correct. We are correct. That is all you need to know that IKF isn't going anywhere because the internal numbers tell us that he's one of the best defensive shortstops in planet Earth and you don't have no right to say I'm wrong. In reality, IKF, whatever errors he got, 12, really should be about 22, maybe even more than that. There's been videos out there that show all the errors he's actually made that have not been called errors. There was one the other night I'm calling the game and I'm stunned. I said, they don't rule that an error? Are you, are you shitting me? That's not an error? But they do go ahead and say, IKF is one of the best defensive shortstops based on our etern internal. It should be eternal numbers for that. I mean, it's forever. Based on their internal numbers, IKF is the best. But what we always heard about Oswald Peraza, this is coming out the mouth also of Brian Cashman. His glove is major league ready. We're told by everybody, advanced scouts, I've told you guys about this. Eli Fishman has been on here and told you guys about this. Everywhere you read online, as I just smack something off my desk, has told you that no question about it, Oswald Peraza's glove is the best in the Yankees minor league system. Doesn't matter what position it is. He is the best defensive player that the New York Yankees have. Now, we've seen a lot of this at the major league level. We've seen a way better arm than IKF. We've seen the same amount of range, if not more, than IKF. The arm is, it's not even, like, you can say range. All right, maybe you got a topic of conversation there. Arm, it's not even close. It is not even comparable. They're not even on the same world when it comes to arm strength. And then bat, I think if you polled every Yankee fan, there's a lot of weirdos out there. I think, honestly, no joke, 90% of Yankee fans would tell you that Oswald Peraza is a by far a better hitter. We don't got to see him enough. What we've seen so far, he's a better hitter and much more impactful to the Yankees than IKF is. I want to bring something up real quick. I'm going to pull it up on my phone. I want to look at the Yankees lineup from, I think it might have been yesterday or the other night. Let me see the one where, matter of fact, let's just go back to yesterday and play around with this. Actually, yesterday might have had an ugly lineup. Let's see. We can mess around with it either way. Okay. All right, so who cares, right? Let's play around with this. Let's just say they got Judge Rizzo up top. We know that already. Let's look at the bottom seven. The bottom seven is typically something like this, right? It's either Bader, IKF, Trevino, IKF, Trevino, Hicks. It's usually something around that, Bader, Trevino, Hicks, Bader, Trevino, I, uh, IKF, whatever it might be. Think about the difference in a postseason, in regular season games, facing this lineup all the time, where IKF is hitting 263. The most damage IKF is going to do against you is, based on his numbers, is likely a single. That is the worst he is going to do against you. Every now and then, he'll get an extra base hit. Home runs are extremely rare. Doubles are rare. And a single is, yeah, 26% of the time he'll, he'll get a single. When he gets on base with a hit, it's going to likely be a single. His average is about 260 or so. All right, whatever. He's going to get on base and do that. Maybe he's a threat to steal. Maybe. Hasn't been overly successful doing that. He'll go first to third. He got decent wheels. He doesn't have Oswald Peraza's speed. Not even close to that either. Oswald Peraza in the minor leagues, 30-plus stolen bags. He's come up here, stolen the base already. You can see when he goes first to home, first to third, it's an easy thing for him. Fact of the matter is, you are simply looking at somebody who would impact the bottom of the order with everything the Yankees don't have right now. That is a uh, 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 more slugging percentage. He'll get on base likely at the same clip as IKF does. Considering IKF doesn't walk, I, I don't know how Peraza would not get on base at around the same clip. We know he's a better hitter. We know he's a better fielder. So the Yankees are preventing themselves from being a better club. On top of that, really disregarding their own words all offseason. Disregarding those words. What they told us, which was, IKF is the stopgap shortstop until one of our guys are ready. They never said until Anthony Volpe's ready. They never said until Trey Sweeney's ready. They never said until Oswald Peraza is ready. They told us 
He is the stopgap until one of our young guys are ready. That was the reason we passed on Correa, Seager, Simeon, all these other guys. Because IKF would hold a spot until one of the guys are ready. We already know what Oswald Peraza did in AAA. We know the slow start, and then he just tore it up. We know Anthony Volpe, slow start in AA, won something, tore it up, went to AAA, tore it up. Never seen the major leagues. We know that. He's not going to. But Oswald Peraza has. Now, you can place the blame on the reason why he was called up to many different things. You can sit there and say, Aaron Boone made himself like an ass multiple times in a row, and Twitter was a mess. Everybody was going at the Yankees. You had cats outside with signs saying, hey, 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 call up Peraza. So at the end of the day, I don't know how much that influenced it, but I, I personally believe there's no doubt about it. It was a pressure campaign. My video came out, did extremely well. I think it was a pure pressure campaign by everybody collecting the same message and pushing it out there to Yankee fans. And I think the Yankees said, because Peraza played that same day, he homered, hey, hey, get him out the game, bring him up. Just bring him up, just bring him up, just bring him up. We'll get him in every now and then, just get him up, calm everybody down and go from there. Fact of the matter is the Yankees, if ALDS game one gets here, which it will, and IKF will be in the lineup, tell you guys right now, I am not going to be Mr. Nice Guy come postseason. Not that I always am. I'm always real. I don't look to be mean. I don't look to be an asshole to anybody. But during the postseason, when the games are on the line and this is it, forget the regular season. That's accomplished. We won that. Postseason gets here. I am giving zero leeway to IKF making one of his bad mistakes because I have a gut feeling. I'm scared. Anytime a big situation happens, a ball's hit the shortstop. You better believe I'm holding my breath big time with IKF. We've seen the type of errors he's made. We've seen that that's led to situations with Garrett Cole. Doesn't matter who you put that blame on. It's happened to pitchers, and pitchers do react sometimes negatively. It, it hurts them. It affects them. Pitching is not easy. You need your defense, especially a guy who we were told, ah, he's the best defender in the world. Don't worry about it. He's the best defensive, uh, 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 defensive shortstop in the American League. You got nothing to worry about. IKF is the man. Believe us, our internal numbers would tell you everything you need. But we've also been told how great our young crop of prospects are. Why we've passed up on guys because of them. Why we claim the Yankees being IKF was just a stopgap. That was all he was. He's just a stopgap until these guys are ready. Well, Peraz is sitting there saying, hey, when you guys play me, I'm batting over 330 uh, and, and 41 plate appearances. I got three doubles on my 11 hits. My on base percentage in, in 40 plus at bat and 40 plus appearances is 390. I've done everything I can at this level to show you that I should be in there. The Yankees refuse it, and I tell you guys this right now: it would be absolutely horrifying. If IKF hurts the Yankees in the postseason and no Yankee fan should let it go because we were told one thing and something else is completely happening and it's not right and it's a stupid move on the part of the Yankees. I truly feel that Oswald Peraza should be the starting shortstop for the Yankees. No doubt about it. Now, do I go on to hope IKF is going to start, which he's going to, we know that. Do I hope he does fantastic? Yes. I hope he has a walk-off hit. I hope he does big. I hope he comes up clutch. He's been clutch this year. I give him that. I hope his defense is spectacular because let me tell you guys this right now. It would not be nice for the Yankees, for Aaron Boone, for all the PR out there to have to answer questions that you've seen this all year. Why did you leave IKF out there to do this? So, guys, with that being said, I am out. Make sure you go to Into the AM. So thankful they sent me these tees. They're amazing, guys. Look at they fit the arms. Come on. Fam, come on, fam. Look at they fit the arms. Look amazing over here. But I need something I can breathe in. So go to Into the AM. Use a discount coupon, NYY News TV today. With that being said, guys, let me know in the comments below. What do you think? About IKF and Peraza, are you scared of IKF in the postseason and the damage 
he could potentially cause the Yankees. And do you think it's the right move to say, hey, you know what? We're going to go with Oswald Peraza. Like, I mean, we were basically told that a stopgap until our guys are ready. Guys ready. You ain't playing them. I don't know. I just hope for the Yankees' sake, nothing bad happens in the postseason with Isaiah Connor Falefa with their belief in him and continuing to move with him. When you've seen all year, I don't give a poop what your internal numbers show you. You ain't the best defensive shortstop in the American League. Stop it. Talk to you guys later. I'm out.